This is an attempted bank robbery caught on multiple security cameras. Welcome to Front Sight Firearms Training Institute, located just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Brad Ackman, and I am your Director of Training. Drop it! Welcome to the next episode of Front Sight's Reality Check. Front Sight's Reality Check series shows you the ugliness that is common out on the streets. The take-home message from Reality Check is to get the proper training before this type of violence touches you or your loved ones. Welcome to episode number 57 of Front Sight's Reality Check. For this episode, we take you to Rockford, Illinois in January of 2017. As you know, there are so many videos online of gunfights where the good guy makes literally every mistake in the book. The only reason the good guy survives is because the bad guy is even worse. So it is refreshing to see a video where the good guy does a nice job and the bad guy literally gets what he deserves. All right, let's take a look. Welcome to the Alpine Bank in Rockford, Illinois. These folks here are all bank employees. This gentleman right here in the white shirt is the security guard. And sitting in this car is the idiot who is about to attempt an armed robbery. He sits in his vehicle for quite a while, giving himself a pep talk or smoking dope or taking a selfie or whatever one does before trying to rob a bank. He finally jumps out of the car and dashes inside. This knucklehead is such a cliche, complete with a rock bottom IQ, a big silver gun, a ski mask, and an empty bag for the money. What an idiot. All right, let's watch the entire gunfight and then we'll show it again and comment on the action. Okay, let's look at it again. Before the bad guy even enters the bank, he is seen by both the employees and the security guard. This is good environmental awareness. Being in condition yellow is the only hope you have of winning a gunfight. Because if you don't see it coming, you're a sitting duck. The intentions of the would-be robber are crystal clear the instant he stepped through the door. He's wearing a mask, carrying a gun, yelling at the employees, and even bangs off around into the ceiling. No mystery here. The employees wisely drop below the counter in an effort to avoid the mayhem. At the same time, the security guard presents his handgun and gets busy. It's a little hard to tell, but it appears that the security guard gets off the first shot, as he should. The bad guy immediately hunkers down at the base of the counter and randomly cranks off around. The security guard steps back momentarily for some cover and concealment and then gets right back into the action. Our security guard leans out around the counter and fires several shots one-handed, presumably getting good hits. Upon feeling the burn of several hot lead injections, the bad guy finally realizes the magnitude of his mistake. He drops the gun and heads for the door. Now our security guard establishes a proper grip and stance and brings his weapon up to eye level and delivers one last hit, which brings dirt bag to the ground. And the whole thing is over in about 10 seconds, which is actually just a little bit longer than the usual. The security guard wisely checks for additional threats before leaving his position. I applaud our security guard's mental awareness and his combat mindset, which allowed him to deliver fight-stopping hits under stress. Nice job. My only recommendation would be a tactical reload to bring his weapon back up to full capacity before leaving cover and concealment. Other than that, let's hire more security guards like this one. 
And this concludes another episode of Reality Check. All right, listen, here's the deal. Come to Front Sight and get the training that you need, obviously before you need it. Because if you wait for that fateful day when you're attacked and you realize you don't have a clue what you're doing, at that point, you probably don't need training. Instead, you're probably gonna need a casket. Get your act together and we'll see you at Front Sight. And as always, thanks for watching.